Hey everyone, my name is Becky, I have Amy, and this is my Amy. So, crappy recording because I'm on my phone, however, I think I have my microphone thing fixed. Um, my son did it, so hopefully it won't squeal the whole way through. So, I thought I'd do a diary, I haven't done one of those in a while. Well, yesterday I woke up feeling a bit better. I want to give a huge thank you to Angie McCall. I'm going to link her, like put her um, channel in the description. She's having some time off at the moment um, for personal reasons. Um, and still, no, doesn't matter what she's going through, she still had the time to spend time and talk to me about some pretty, pretty deep stuff. And the fact that somebody would take time out of their own suffering and spend it talking to me. Oh my god, I don't know. It's just it just blows my mind. Someone would do that for me. So thank you, Angie. It means the world. It meant the world and your your word did make an impact. Honestly, for everybody else watching this, she's so wise, <laughs> she's so awesome, I want you to go and subscribe to her, but, um, yeah, so that really did, um, she really took her time, and after all that, I did something that I haven't done in a while just to be still and allow myself to go inside my own head for a while and be a bit freer, I guess. I woke up the next ne next day, which was yesterday, and I felt a bit more positive, I felt a bit better. Um, but through the day, that kind of just wore off, and I don't know. It's almost like um, a magic potion or something in Zelda, you know, it kind of wears off after a while. It was kind of, it felt like that, you know, it's just like, it was, I felt a bit more positive. I got up, I did some work, um, the pain started and to get too much, so I had to stop. And I think mainly what it is, is that, I always had this fallacy in my head that I had support from my family. I always thought that I could call on them if I needed them, if things were really like bad or whatever, I could count on them to be there. But realizing that that's not true, I think it's hit me really hard and it has made me feel alone very very alone i've never had a problem with loneliness before um because i've always enjoyed my own company i've always liked being on my own i, I would always prefer kind of to be i would prefer to be on my own so i've never had a problem with loneliness before but now i do feel it and i think it's because I don't have that support that I thought I had. Not so much support because like that wasn't there, the support, but like a safety net, if you know what I mean. Like a uh, you know, like if something went terribly went wrong, if I developed cancer or, or something, you know, I, I thought everybody not everybody, but you know, I thought a few key people would be there for me and now I don't think that anymore and I think that's where the loneliness has come from and so that crushing loneliness came down and, and that was triggered by um, I after I finished working on what I was working on I went on the PS4 for a little bit I thought I'll go on the PS4 until my son comes home 
um, and so my son came home and he said, oh, I'm going to go out cycling with my friend. I'm like, okay, see you, bye. And then after he left, uh, that crushing weight of a loneliness just, I don't know how I'm going to cope. He's going away for a month to his dad's again next month and I don't know how I'm going to cope it makes things really worse with this pain because usually I can push through pain and you know really just carry on and push through it but this pain is so bad it's all up here and up here and across and across my back and I keep getting that horrible chest thing and on my arms very painful extremely painful and I think that's getting me down because I have not had this much pain here before like it's not that's not being a thing I've always more had pain in my hands my hips um you know, I did all, now and again get that chest thing, um, which is very painful. Um, but it was like now and again, and then obviously I do get pain in my shoulders. I did get pain in my shoulders. But this, it's like so bad. And you know, my son hugged me the other day, and it was like it was agony. It was so painful. Maybe it's another new pain I've got to get used to and learn to live with. I guess maybe. I don't know. The only time it eases is when I'm lying down. It's still there, but it does ease. But I don't want to be lying down all the time. Like, I just don't. I'm not content with lying down in bed anymore. I want to be getting up and I want to be doing stuff. My brain doesn't want me to rest wants me to get up and do stuff and I know I have to rest I know I do and I do I say it to people all the time you know when I say you've got to listen to your body and rest and my son actually parroted my words back to me the other day he was like you've got to listen to your body and rest mum <laughs> like, yeah I know I know oh just don't don't do as I say. Don't do as I do. Do as I say, isn't it? But I know. I don't know what to do today. <sighs> I just know I'm in so much pain. That just fucking killed me. Like, <laughs> and it's like crunching as well. It's really, really painful. And it's all in my neck as well, especially this side. And what I want to do, I want some money to go and see a chiropractor. I don't know how much. Is it a chiropractor? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I always get the words chiropractor and chiropractor mixed up. Like, I know what I mean. I want to go and see a chiropractor and get them to do that quickie thing. I think it would be too painful, though, I'd be honest. I think I would be in weight. If a hug can cause that much pain, I don't think. Um, plus, I can't afford it, so. I mean, it's, it's off the card anyway. But. Anyway, I think I'm going to go. This has been long enough, I guess. Sorry, it's not great quality in, it, in the car. So thank you so much for joining me today. It's been wonderful to talk to you. And I hope you're having as best day as you can. And... Um, if you're new and you want to join me on my journey through this illness and life please subscribe it's not always doom and gloom i mean it's mostly doom and gloom but not always doom and gloom <laughs> i have some videos lined up i want to do but i just need i need to be feel better ouch i need to feel better to be able to do that so um keep an eye out for that so um subscribe and ring the bell because apparently you don't get notified unless you ring the bell as well as subscribe and I will hopefully see you again very soon. Thanks. Bye.